Yes. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much, Brian and Jason. We know you guys got to get out of here. So you can jet. It's now, now it's the, the Jeff and Rich show. That's right. What's up, buddy? Not much, dude. Oh, cool. Hanging out. I got this, uh, this classic controller. It's classic. Now, I can't help but notice that the, the wrist strap on there is still in the plastic. I brought this in from home. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't unwrapped it. Awesome. I don't need to. Yeah, sure. You don't need it, especially if you're playing a game like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I believe uh, this game got a pretty good score once upon a time from us. Yeah, back in 1998 when it was uh, originally released, uh, this was the first game that uh, we gave a 10.0 to. Wow. And uh, yeah, I, I, I reviewed it and uh, had to argue basically with every single person on staff. Um, you know, got pulled into a lot of offices and like, so wait a minute. You're telling me this game couldn't be any better than it is. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Awesome. Like, well, okay, wait a minute now. What if it had speech? It's like, well, actually, speech would probably bring it down because it was an N64 game. And it probably would have sounded pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, you know, after you know, hours of convincing people, like, no, this is the game. This is the game we're going to give a 10 to. GameSpot, this is, this is when it's happening right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, uh, and here we are, you know, like almost a decade later, and they've released it for the virtual console on the Wii. Cool. And how, how does it look? Uh, it looks good. This is uh, a lot like the version that got released on the GameCube uh, as part of, they, they put together like a little compilation for the GameCube right, right. Uh, back in the day. And uh, it, it looks uh, pretty much like that. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think they took, maybe just took that version? Or? Uh, yeah, they probably did because uh, th like this version doesn't have rumble. They took that out of, of, uh, of this one. But, I mean, you know, it's like the, you're, you're not holding a controller that would, would rumble anyway right. normally, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, cool. and, and yeah, so now we're, we're running around here. This is just the opening town, just a real little quick taste of, of what this game looks like in case you, uh, for some reason, didn't play it originally or, or just want to refresh your course. Um, you're running around this town, you have to get a sword and a shield before they'll let you go visit the, the great Deku tree, and you, you just got your fairy here, and you're, you're the kid without a fairy, but now you have a fairy. Awesome. Yeah. So is, is this the game that made the Zelda formula we all, we all know now, or did that come well, in for the past? Well, I, I think that, you know, I mean, the Zelda formula started with the first Legend of Zelda game, really. They've right. just been refining it. But this was the game that uh, defined how Zelda would work in 3D. Actually, it, it defined how a lot of action-adventure games would work in 3D because they added this uh, Z targeting, which now on the classic controller, it's actually the L trigger. And how this works is you can hold it down here and you just start strafing. Uh, so keeping a lock on, and you can lock on to, to enemies with this and strafe around them and, and, and attack. And, you know, this is like common stuff now. But what? in 98, this was mind-blowing. This was like, <laughs> dude, someone figured it out. How to finally, you know, because otherwise I'd be walking up to something and I'd be off just a little bit and I'd miss it. Uh, there were plenty of really stupid things that, that had to happen before Nintendo came along and said, we're going to make this go. And, and they did, and, and that was a big part of what made this game so huge in 98. Cool. Do you want to take some questions about this game? Yeah, or? sure. All right, you? sure. Let's, uh, let's start with this one uh, here. I'm trying to get questions from new folks. Uh, let's see, Ross in Oshawa, Ontario. Uh, yeah. Have you tried this game? Do you prefer the GameCube controller for playing your virtual console games or the classic controller? Uh, it depends on the game. Um, you know, this is only the second N64 game to come out on the virtual console. I think Mario 64 worked uh, reasonably well with either controller. This one, still kind of feeling it out. I haven't actually tried a GameCube controller with it yet. Um, but it seems like it's probably fine either way. Uh, the one thing you do have to get used to is that since th none of these controllers have the, the C buttons that the N64 had, you actually have to use the right analog stick as the buttons. You have to like push it in the direction. No, yeah, or? you push up or left or I mean, they were camera buttons back in the day, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, but it, it is, it's it's different, you know, if you played the original. Cool. Uh, next question, uh, Chris in uh, Boca Raton wants to know: uh, Should you play this version or try getting your hands on the Nintendo 64 version? Well, I think this version is going to look a little bit cleaner because they they did you know they did clean up a, a little bit. It is being upscanned, I think, here to, to 480p. Um, I think you, you'd probably be safe going either way with it at this point. It is a, it's a classic game, and it's pretty much intact here uh, from, from what we've seen so far. Uh, so, you know, if you don't have another version of the game, you could definitely, you know, there, there are worse ways to spend $10. Cool. I think that, you know, a lot of people will, will find, you know, playing this game, especially like playing this game after Twilight Princess. You know, if you p picked up Twilight Princess when you got a Wii and never played this game, you're going to look at this game and go, Oh. <laughs> okay. Now you go to the Forest Temple. Right. Joey uh, Holland from St. John's, Newfoundland says, T-shirt. 
by the way. Yeah, sure. T-shirt. Sure. Yeah. Cool. All right, so there it is, uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Uh, pick it up, get it. What do you think is next? For the virtual console, what are they, what, they have much, well, much let, what are they going to do now? Like start. I, it, it, it's been really weird the way they've been releasing these games because they've been pumping out a lot of huge classics. Super Mario World's already out. Uh, you know, this is already out. Uh, a Link to the Past is already out. The original Legend of Zelda is already out. The original Super Mario Brothers is already out. Uh, it seems like they're going to run out of the great games and leave us with more stuff like uh, Clue Clue Land, Donkey Kong Jr. Math. So what what, you know. what they're gonna do uh -huh. is uh, you know how it's all like tied to your system. Yeah. So they'll release all the games, then release a, like a Wii in a different color, so you buy that <laughs> so you one, buy them all and then you have again. to download all the games again. Yeah, probably. It don't happen. Uh, what they need to do is they need to start bringing out games that weren't released in the U.S., like uh, Sin and Punishment for the N64. That totally should be on here. Cool. That totally should be available. And didn't they say they were gonna be like they're gonna let people develop new games for the for they, the system? They talked about that like because that? I mean because that's been very big on. Uh, Xbox Live Arcade and, and to a lesser extent on the PlayStation 3. Uh, so I think Nintendo kind of realized, like, well, we're doing that too, but they haven't really done anything with it other than release uh, you know, their browser and the right. voting channel. Some new 8 bit games might be cool. Some new 8 bit games would be totally awesome. Yeah. Or if they went back and translated into English stuff like Sweet Home or just like all these weird classic Famicom games that never came out. Sure. That'd be rad.